Holyoke High School students demanding action today, holding a protest outside after an alleged sexual assault involving a student. Today, the alleged victim's lawyer speaking out, giving their version of what happened. The Western Mass News reporter Berseda Landaverde joins us live outside the high school with more. Berseda. Well, Chris, we are not identifying the victim, but her lawyer says the incident happened late last month and on school grounds. <laughs> Calls for justice heard loud and clear outside of the Holyoke High School on Friday. Really, our school hasn't really done anything about it. Hundreds of students walked out during lunchtime calling for more communication and transparency from school officials after reports surfaced on Monday of an alleged sexual assault involving a high school student. They've been trying to low, slowly sweep it under the rug. The person who did it, I just want them to get their just to get held accountable. Police have confirmed there is an ongoing investigation involving two juveniles, but won't go into details. According to the victim's lawyer, John Martin, this happened at the end of September. It happened in the high school in a corridor. Martin says the victim is traumatized by the incident and is unable to sleep. She's afraid of being around people. She's uh, unable to eat, unable to have, uh, you know, even a moment's peace. Martin says the matter is being investigated by the Holyoke Police Department, but that his team is looking into other alleged sexual assault incidents within the school district. We're looking at other prior incidents. We're aware of at least one other rape that occurred at this school, allegedly. Now, Holyoke school officials say they are working with the Holyoke Police Department regarding the incident involving two juveniles. Now, in this investigation, the Holyoke Police Department says, in part, quote, electronic evidence has been turned over to the Massachusetts State Police Laboratory. Our investigators are awaiting their findings. Now, in a separate report not related to the late incident in September, police say a complaint of unprofessional conduct was filed by three females against a paraprofessional on October. October 5th. Now, police officials say in part, quote, the paraprofessional was suspended pending an investigation. The paraprofessional was advised he is barred from any and all school property. They go on to say the alleged inappropriate behavior involves minors, their security and privacy is paramount and must be respected. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Holyoke Police Department. Now, coming up at six, we will hear from parents who were here today this afternoon at the protest. For now, reporting live in Holyoke, Mercedes Verde for Western Mass News.